What's new in Candor 2? The 2013 edition. February 5th. Animal domestication was implemented. This calls for all sorts of cows, sheep, goats, and more exotic animals like mouflons. March 5th. The repair system was changed. Items are no longer added to the project. Instead, they have to be present on the ground or in someone's inventory. It also became possible to tame pigs, including wild boars, bush pigs, and warthogs. March 9th. Lighthouses now require fuel. May 15th. It became possible to make maple syrup out of maple sap. May 24th. Tricorn hats were implemented. July 17th. Some Tobas jewelry was added. July 18th. A couple of sapphire ring designs were introduced. July 24th. Some quick and cheap clothing for the poor or the impatient was implemented. Who thought I was going to say slavery? Nope, it's still not supported by the mechanics. July 29th. A bunch of new jade jewelry was added. August 11th. Hair accessories were introduced. This includes things like hair bows, scrunchies, hair beads, and golden braid clips. August 12th. Hibachi and meat grinder were added, as well as associated recipes. August 31st. A bunch of new foods were added. Things like brisket, rack of lamb, hog roast, mint jelly, apple sauce, barbecue sauce, and aioli. Sometime in September, it became possible to add things to projects from the ground. October 1st, it became possible to drag parts of piles. October 2nd, it became possible to add things to projects, give them to people and drop them without leaving the inventory page. October 7th. A bunch of new dresses were added, as well as some other clothing. November 1st. The events page now allows viewing descriptions, naming people and whispering without leaving the page. November 3rd. Flannel sh shirts and cotton parkas were implemented. December 26th, weather was implemented. December 29th, a set of Indian inspired clothes was implemented. And finally, it became possible to disassemble radios and furniture. This was the last change of the year.